This is One on One. Honored to be joined by Judy Kay, two-time Tony Award-winning actress. Uh, it is great to have you with us. Again, you, you were with us last time. Right. You only had one at the time. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. And the second one is for? Nice work if you can get it, and you can get it if you try. How? Let me ask you something. I remember interviewing the first time, and I had a great time talking to you because you're fascinating, you're talented, really? and you're interesting. You. Um, you've been doing this a few years. Yes, I have. How many? Next June, I will be a proud <laughs> member of Actors' Equity for 50 years. No way. Yes, way. So the first time, first big break, I hate that, but uh, it's 1978. Seven, seven, yeah, okay. You're working with Kevin Klein. Yeah. You were, and I were just talking about this before we got in the air. Uh, Madeline Kahn, part of it? Yes. She's there. Madeline, Madeline, I was understudying Madeline. Something happens. She's not feeling great. Eh. You step in. Right. You kick butt. Hmm. In my dreams, yeah. What was the, uh, what was the, uh... The show? Yeah. On the 20th Century. On the 20th Century. Right, which was recently revived by The Roundabout. Yeah. We're not talking about that right now. Okay. So, uh, we're talking about you. So, you step in. Madeline Kahn's not feeling well. New York Times says, what about you? They, uh, they came back and they, and they liked it. They liked it. Yeah, they uh, said you're an overnight success. They said you were like you. I, well, I was actually on the front page of The Post. The first time I was, that was the first of two times I was on the front page of The Post. I didn't murder anyone. That's a good I, thing. Yeah, I didn't do, but, but by the afternoon, I was on the floor of the, uh, the IRT. So, uh, you yeah, know, you people were it putting it under their dog. Yes, I had you. to do, my producer said, go with it. I'm going with it. Okay. And so here's the deal. <laughs> you are now, literally, in that moment, your life changes or no? Oh, completely. How so? Um, well, it, in a, from a professional point of view, I mean, I had been in the trenches for a long time. You know, I'm that, this, I got my equity card in 1967, so that means... But you're still, hold yeah. on, but you're still really young. I'm young, I'm young, yeah, I was, yeah. In your mid-20s, put it yeah, that way. Yeah, something like that. Something like that, and you're still, <laughs> but, you, but you hit it big. I did, in, in, a, in a Broadway sense, <laughs> which is, yeah. in my world, the most important thing, because that's, that's where I live, you know, yeah. on, a, on a stage in front of people. And they know you've got something, and so here's my question. Trust me, there's a method to this. You continue to work in all kinds of terrific productions. People see something in you. You have this incredible range to do all kinds of things. What has kept you engaged, working, and passionate after these, how many years again did you say? 50, which I don't believe. Yeah, no, it's years. true. Explain it. Um, because there's always something new, you know? There's always another story to tell. And that's what we do. We're storytellers, and there's uh, there are new directors and 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 new actors to work with, and uh, new stages to fill, and new audiences that you're going to face. And that's the audience is another character in the piece. It's like you know, it's always new every day, even if it's a long run and you've been doing it for two years. No. To me, to me, not every actor feels this way. Mm. But the way I feel is it's new. So in Toronto, something new. Yeah. Big smile on your face. Yeah. What's it called? It's called Suzatska. I wanted you to say it because I don't want to say it wrong. Suzatska. Suzatska. Based on a yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Based on a film called Madame Suzatska, that uh, Shirley MacLaine did back in the '80s and won a Golden Globe for. Thank you. I am not playing Madame Suzatska. I am actually uh, Victoria Clark, wonderful, wonderful uh, Broadway actress, wonderful actress, wonderful singer, wonderful yes. intellect person. She will be playing uh, Suzatska, and I play actually her older friend and confidant, the Countess is what she's known as, and she saved Suzatska when Suzatska was a child from the Nazis, her whole, yeah, it's, it's, the backstory on this, this, this thing is just amazing. It's amazing. And, 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 and does this come to Broadway in 2017? We, that's the plan. And so stay tuned. Uh, fall of 2017. Right, as we, we speak, should... Wicked? I'm in Wicked, yes. One more week only. As we speak. Yeah. What's that been like? That has been great fun. It's been kind of a surprise because I never realized that this particular role had that much going on in it. And I thought, why do they want me? But I love the show, so I'll do it. 
and the role. My role. Yeah. 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 Who was uh, it? Who was it? Oh, it was uh, Carol Shelley, who was was a mentor to me and one of my favorite actresses and and people in the world, and. Um, they had been asking me about coming into it for a long time, because this thing has been on uh, next Sunday, 13 years, 13th anniversary Wicked. of Wicked, and uh, they're heading into their 14th year. But it won't be me with them. I'm I'm going to Toronto to, to start Suzatska. Suzatska. Yeah. So 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 here's the thing: the Cole Porter connection. Talk to me about it. For me. Uh, it's part of that great American songbook, you know. I mean, you, I love the, all of that music, all of my life. Uh, there was a thing when I was growing up in Phoenix, Arizona, on a radio station there called the, uh, the Teenage Underground. We were the, the kids who, we liked the Beatles, we loved all of that, but we secretly were really passionate about the songs that our parents had grown up on and our grandparents. The great American yeah, songbook. Yeah, yeah. And... Um, Cole Porter, uh, my husband said a funny thing. He says the, the hallmark for him of Cole Porter is that he was one of the very few uh, popular songwriters of that day who wasn't Jewish. But that, and that's probably true there. I mean, if you think about it. That's right. Yeah. The Gershwins. The Gershwins, Berlin. Uh, Berlin yeah, right. yeah. All and on and on. But uh, such passionate music, beautiful, actually really beautiful songs, and great, witty very personal, mm. sometimes painful lyric writing. You connect with it. Yeah. Ridiculous I think question, does. I have to ask. 50 years. Love this. It's your work. It's your passion. It's what you were born to do. Do you have any idea what the heck, this is a stupid question, do you have any idea what you would do if you weren't an artist? Oh, I love, uh, we have a thing in our house, we call it Judy porn. It has to do... <laughs> with uh, uh, houses and decorating and nesting. And I mean, maybe I'd be in real estate, maybe I'd be an interior designer, maybe, I don't know, but that's still kind of the arts. But I, I love the idea of people nesting and the, the whole HGTV thing. It's become widespread, but before there was an HGTV, there was me. Uh, you were doing it. Doing it, yeah. Were we gonna see you on a show on HGTV? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> you love, so 50 years at this. Yeah. As passionate as ever, you're going to continue doing great work. I hope so. Because people want you. Well, and I'm getting into that sort of ripe area of the almost old now. And I can, I'm, I'm, I'm going to age up for the Countess, actually, and says, Suzatska. You've got to age up. I'm going to age up, actually. I love it. I play an even older person. And so that should be really fun to work on the makeup and, you know, put that character on. And she's, a, she's kind of a neat old lady. She's... Uh, She's into the kind of counterculture of the of the eighties, uh, so she's very au courant. It should be fun. It should be a lot of fun. Judy Kay, two-time Tony Award-winning <laughs> actress. You honor us by being with us. Last time you were with us at Lincoln Center. Yes. And now you're with us at NJ Pack. That's right. The two great places in the metropolitan region to have one-on-one -on -one interviews. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wish you all the best, particularly up in Toronto. Thank you. All the best. Stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation and the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in association with NJTV and WNET. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato at NJ PAC has been provided by TD Bank, Prudential Financial's Global Communications Department, NJIT, Josh S. Weston, The Fidelco Group, RWJ Barnabas Health, and by Verizon. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.